Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to make this motion blur effect in After Effects. Step one, let's select the type tool. Click, type in whatever you want. I'm going to scale this up, press also shift. I'm going to position it here. Make sure the anchor point is in the center. You can press and hold control and double click on the pen behind and it's going to jump to the center. Now we're going to animate it, click on the text, press the letter P, activate the stopwatch and I'm going to pull this somewhere around one second and a half. And now I'm going to drag the text somewhere here. I gotta pull it to the third second here and I can drag it back where it was before and it starts to animate. As you can see, we got some handles going on. I'm just gonna drag it. There should be like another handle, but I can see it. Oh, there you go, there, here it is. Drag it in the opposite side. Now it curves, boom, boom. I'm gonna select all the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. Now I'm gonna select the text. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Drag the text number two under the normal text. We're gonna type into the effects and presets echo. Drag and drop the echo to the second text. We're gonna go to the echo time. We're gonna type in here 0 0.009. You can increase the copies here. I'm gonna go with 50. Decrease the decay a little bit. It's gonna be more transparent. I'm gonna go down to 0 0.90. From here, select the Panther 2 where you've been. And we're gonna go here to the characters and I'm gonna double click on the color. And here you can change it up. And to make these lines smoother, we can type it in here, Gaussian Blur, and drag and drop onto the text number two, increase the blur. So as you can see, it's gonna meld them together, meld these lines together. I'm gonna need to change the colors because this is too heavy. Wow, check that out, it's like a ghost. Okay, so from here, we're gonna duplicate the Panther to the second text. Press Ctrl D and drag the third text to under the second text. You also can change the color up. It won't do much of an impact. All right, now I'm gonna, for example, I'm gonna work with this blue, click OK. But what else can you do is go back to Panther 2, go to the toggle switch modes here, click. So the, here you can see the blend modes. I'm gonna go to the blend mode. Here you can switch it up with whatever you want. For example, I can go to overlay, switch up the colors. So we got, for example, here exclusion, the subtract. It literally looks like some ghost. Wow, look at that. I think it looks insane. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.